I arrived at the Airbnb late in the evening, exhausted after a long day of traveling. It was an old farmhouse in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by fields and trees. The owner, an elderly woman named Martha, greeted me and showed me to my room upstairs. She seemed pleasant but strange, staring at me intently as she described the history of the house. As soon as I entered the bedroom, I felt a chill run through my body. The room looked nothing like the bright, cheerful pictures online. It was dingy and cluttered, with peeling floral wallpaper and heavy antique furniture. The four-poster bed took up most of the space, its embroidered curtains faded and dusty, I quickly unpacked and got ready for bed. Wanting to get some rest before exploring the house and area in the morning. As I was washing up in the attached bathroom, I thought I heard a child whisper my name from the bedroom. I paused and listened closely, but heard nothing else. Just the house settling, I told myself, I climbed into the lumpy bed and tried to get comfortable despite the musty sheets. As I drifted off to sleep, the wind outside picked up, whistling through the cracks in the window frame. Somewhere deep in the house, old floorboards creaked, I jolted awake a few hours later to the sound of footsteps right outside my door. Heavy, shuffling steps moved down the hallway towards the stairs. My heart pounded as I sat frozen in bed. Listening as the steps slowly faded away. After what seemed like an eternity, I uneasily fell back asleep, the next morning, I headed downstairs, eager to confirm it was all in my imagination. But Mrs. Brown simply smiled and said, Oh yes, the children often like to play at night. Pay them no mind, dear. I left that day and never returned, thanks for watching, please subscribe for more scary content.